hear that shit in the head of this bad hound. They want to shoot shit. Take a ride in my scoop, you make me wanna On your mark, get set, go, let me go, let me shoot through the next guy in a three-piece suit Bend on my dough, pray me to me, like Scooby Shooby, like Scooby Dooby Do what I do when you're tight jeans, you make me wanna scream, you make me wanna say Ooh, ooh, I like what you do, when you do what you do, you make me wanna shoot. He's a money, money, good man. Hey, money, 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 good man. A man is smooth like Barry and his voice got bass. Body like Arnold with a Denzel face. He's a real smooth brother. Never in a rush, and he gives me goose pimples with every single punch. Yes, I am, since he loves me. Never since he loves me, I go on, baby. Such me in the right spot. Every guy to go and try to play all that nice shit. Every time they try to say, Right after Black History Month, all of Salt and Pepper. I just played Salt, Pepper, and Vogue. <laughs> Don't be mad, black bitches. I'm sorry. It's after February. Ooh, thank you. Cosign, he ain't doing shit about it. He's like, fuck that shit! I just wanted you to go to school. Y'all forge that bullshit. I have been paid since 1997. My original student loan was 18 grand. It's $112,000 now. Barack Obama, y'all better take care of that bullshit. You want to talk about change? I ain't paying shit! What did I learn at Temple University? Bullshit. Learned how to suck a dick by joining this gay student group. That was it. If they had said in 1991 when I joined, you're going to learn how to suck a dick and, and be gay at Temple University. I said, sign me up! That's a good skill. Cost me $112,000 to learn how to be gay and dress like a faggot drag queen. Thank you. Four times. I'm gonna put that with my $112,000 bill. I get it. Listen, where's the councilman? She's on her way? What the fuck? You wanna come up? This is Scott Brown. This is my co chairman for the Mummers LGBT Fancy Brigade Committee. One of my best friends. We put up with a lot of bullshit throughout the year firing bitches and all kinds of shit. But. Him and City Council of Philadelphia gave me my own day, so I gotta suck a dick once in a while, even if it's a city hall, that's fine. 
That's why he's married. That's all right. His wife's like, suck his dick. He gave you your own day. Suck the councilman's dick, too. He's been with the same girl for 20 years. Don't tell his wife. Suck that dick. <laughs> She takes all my photos, makes sure I'm the front page of PGN every other motherfucking week, like I should be. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, raise your glasses up high, kids. Well, I told my mom today just how I make my pay. She wasn't really mean, she always knew I was a queen. She saw my wig, she saw my dress, my face was done today. And the only thing that she could ask was, did you take this all the way? Well, don't you worry, Mom, and please don't you stress. Because there's still a nine-inch dick underneath this dress. Cheers. It is tied around my leg in a slip knot, motherfuckers. I don't know where that dick came from, because I... My dad's Jewish for this shit mistake, so y'all with your Jewish boyfriends and husbands, you know, we ain't got a lot most of the times, but once it gets warm, Jewish dick is out in South Philadelphia, baby. Let me tell you, 
Jewish Italian dick if it's over 60 degrees in them basketball shorts? Y'all be breaking down your doors to get to that dick. <laughs> Here's the South Philly dick. God bless y'all. I know y'all like the Bruno Brothers, but some South Philly dick will bring you out early. <laughs> I love my job. Listen, real quick though. Um, you know, everybody here watches RuPaul's Drag Race? I don't want to start no rumors, but I got my first email back for season seven. Hold up. I have represented Philadelphia in the last 20 years in this motherfucking community. So, if there was going to be a Philadelphia bitch, it better be motherfucking me, y'all. I have sacrificed. I have scrimped. I have given up a social life and a fucking boyfriend and a husband. I am going to be 40 some fucking years old, bitches. And you better believe I give everything that I can to this community in Philadelphia. And if there is going to be a bitch to represent Philadelphia, it better be motherfucking me. I got my first email back. Right? I donate 30 to 40 hours per week, whether it's to Mana, the, one of the greatest causes here in Philadelphia. When we do shows for Mana here at Celebrity Match Game, a meal, to deliver a meal for somebody that is dealing with a debilitating disease or the elderly costs about $2.33, and I raise about 100 meals a week to give back to the community at every show that I do. When I do City of Hope Hope Cuts, and then we do Hairball, I am raising money because their stem cell research has almost cured cancer and type 1 diabetes. And I will give as much time as I have to both Mana and City of Hope because I believe Philadelphia is the greatest motherfucking city in the planet. And I have given so much of my time in the past 20 years. Trust me, ask every, any boyfriend I ever had. They was like, see you, bitch. I said, take it in the face, son. I'm representing Mana and City of Hope. For only $2, and not to be Sally Struthers, but I give a lot of my time the last 20 years. Every show I do, this show tonight is given back to Philadelphia's Man and City of Hope. So, with my little video person here, can y'all please say on the count of three, bring Brittany the motherfucking drag race, because I want to represent you kids. And when I come back, if I get on the show, think of how much money. If now I can raise 100 meals a week for Mana, think how much money we can raise for Mana and City Hope and get them on their way to cure diabetes through stem cell research and all of this. It is a cause that's really dear to my heart and don't make me start crying up in this bitch because I tried two bottles of Fireball, but I will scrimp and save and do everything I can to represent Philadelphia, Mana and City Hope because you better believe when I come back, every penny I get is going to these two causes. So. And I am drop dead serious of this. I, you know, if I can raise this money now, that's my fucking motherfucking goal. So on the count of three, can we say, bring Britney the drag race on the count of three. One, two, three. Bring Britney the drag race. Thank you, motherfuckers. Thank you. For real. I have never been so serious in my life. And it's not to drugs and alcohol talking. It's that I believe... That these two costs is the greatest thing in Philadelphia that we can do, and I will make it my goal to make sure that I raise as much money as I can so we can cure these fucking diseases. All right! <laughs> I, uh, don't talk some shit, Dad. I'm gonna be 40 in this motherfucker, all right? Fuck you, faggot. You was too high to know that what year it was when I was born, so. And thank you, Councilman, for your check to pay for the ad in this motherfucking program. I didn't see shit! It is. It's a sacrifice, you know. Y'all are some faggots, but that's fine, City Hall. <laughs> Without further ado, this next girl can be seen in Drag Wars here on Tuesday nights, hosted by Season 3 11 Plate Consistent winner, Miss Mimi I First. The bitch is consistent. She was 11th place during Season 3. She was 11th place in All Stars, and everybody thinks that we hate each other, and that's true. But we are going to be here next Saturday night on March 15th for the Drag Queens of Comedy. And uh, we're going to be together for a lot of more events coming this year. 
So please, without further ado, please welcome to the stage, given the illusion of early share, this is Miss Maria Topkow! 